Welcome to Synagogues of Texas, Part 6. We start with a look at Houston. Houston is the largest city in Texas with about 2.2 million residents and a growing Jewish population. It currently has about a little more than a dozen Jewish houses of worship. Our first stop is the Chabad House that services Rice University. One can see an artist's rendition of its new facility and ongoing fundraising. The director of this Chabad House is Rabbi Eliezer Lazaroff. On a weekly basis, there is a Sunday morning, Monday morning, and Thursday morning minion. Other days of the week, such as Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, are held on an occasional basis. And of course, there is always the Friday night and Saturday morning Shabbat service. There is a Chabad Angel House as well at Texas Medical Center that provides visiting patients and their families with extensive caring support. Our next stop is the Chabad Lubavitch Center, Texas Regional Headquarters in Houston. Its director is Rabbi Shimon Lazaroff, no doubt related to the Rabbi Lazaroff at the other Chabad Center. There is also Rabbi Betzalel Marinovsky and Rabbi Chaim Lazaroff and Rabbi Dave, David Goldstein involved in this headquarters facility. Located here is also a mikvah and the Torah Day School of Houston. The three-acre campus hosts large sports fields, a rooftop playground, a dedicated computer lab, an assembly hall equipped with the latest high-tech audiovisual equipment along with the other requisite academic provisions. There is allegedly a congregation, Ahavat Yisrael, that is modern Orthodox. It does not list a permanent rabbi, and so far it has met in residences at more than one location. Maybe someone viewing this can provide updated information. In the meantime, we are looking at an overhead shot of congregation Orami, a conservative-affiliated synagogue. In English, it means light of my people. Gideon Estes has been its rabbi since the summer of 2010. The name Or Ami comes from the merger of two synagogues, Or Chadash and Beth Am. The congregation is in possession of a Torah that flew on a Columbia Space Shuttle mission in the winter of 1996. Here is Congregation Beth Israel, a reform synagogue that has been in business since 1854. Its senior rabbi is David A. Lyon, and associate rabbis are Adrian P. Scott, Joshua D. Herman, and Rabbi Emeritus is Samuel E. Karf. Shabbat services are held both Friday evenings and Saturday mornings. The congregation claims to have a membership of about 1,600 member households. Also on campus is the Schlenker School, which is an elementary day school. We morph into an overhead shot of conservative congregation Beth Yeshurun, Rabbi David Rosen is senior rabbi. He was elected to this position in 1996, but he also grew up at the synagogue, having been bar mitzvahed there in 1964. The synagogue also has, as associate rabbi, Steve Morgan, Brian Strauss, and Daniel Horowitz. Rabbi Jack Siegel is Rabbi Emeritus. Besides Shabbat services, there is both a daily morning and evening minion service. The congregation was founded in 1891 as Adath Yeshurun. In 1946, it merged with Beth El, becoming Beth Yeshurun. And in 2002, another synagogue merged into it, and that would be Sharif Israel, out of Wharton, Texas. In 1949, the congregation started its own Jewish day school, and since then, more than 2,000 students have graduated from it. The congregation moved to its current location in 1962. There have been subsequent renovations and additions. Our final stop on part one of our tour of Houston synagogues is Reformed Temple Congregation Emmanuel. Oren Hayon is senior rabbi. 
His assistant rabbis are Pamela Silk and Samantha Khan. Rory Walter is Rabbi Emeritus. Besides Friday evening and Saturday morning Shabbat services, there is a daily evening minion. The congregation was founded in 1944. It's 65,000 square feet of floor space in the sanctuary, seats 855, with a connecting social hall that can seat an additional 1,800. This concludes part one of our tour of Jewish houses of worship in Houston. Part two will follow shortly. So, bye for now, and see you real soon.